How epic is this, man? My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. We're kicking off today's thrift store vintage toy hunt adventure at Thrift Giant, Old Thrifty Pants. So we'll be hitting up a couple of these, a couple of Goody Wills, Thrift City, baby. And uh, see if we can find us some vintage toys. If you're new to the channel, my name's Chris Burfield. I hunt for vintage toys in thrift stores. All my friends call me Burf. You can call me Burf too. If you like vintage toys, if you like thrift stores, you'll probably like my channel, so hit the subscribe button. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Uh, we got one lonely fortnight in the glass case. And then we've got this uh, LOL surprise. Let's go see what's on the shelves. Mm-hmm. We got a pirate ship. That would probably be good for the Pirates of Dark Water. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on this today, guys. I've seen this thing so many times in thrift stores and I've never bought it. This one looks fairly complete, but uh, I've never bought it. But I recently got those Pirates of Dark Water figures and I feel like I need to have a pirate ship for them. Sweet. Let's see, let's see, what else we got? Oh, we saw him here. Just a few days ago, nobody's bought them yet. Got this dino. Our typical 12 inch figures. Wow, Captain America does not have any paint wear on his nose. That is almost unbelievable. He always has paint wear. Does this one, oh, this one, uh, yeah, he does a little bit. Not as bad as sometimes they are. Let's see this one down here. Let's see, we got Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. We've got Gamora. Oh, look at this little ship. This little pirate ship. Does that go along with this? It probably could, huh? Like a little, like a little dinghy type of boat to go alongside the big vessel. All right, guys, uh, so I am going to get them. They're both Pirates of the Caribbean, and these are going to look freaking awesome with my Pirates of Dark Water figures. I can't wait to get this home and get everything set up with it. This is going to be epic. So this is the show and tell portion. This way, when we leave the store, we can head straight to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. But yeah, um, check this out. Is there even like... Yeah, like a little compartment down there. Oh, this is awesome. Super stoked about this. How epic is this, man? These ships are freaking so cool. So glad I found this little one too, man. Oh, super stoked. I'm kind of jazzed up right now. They're not vintage toys, but they're gonna be for my vintage toys, which gets me all jazzed up. All right, guys. Let's head on over to the Goody Wheel. I'll see you over there. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Yeah, let's head in here and see what they got. Maybe my sweet Goodwill hookup will be in here and we can find something and she'll give us a deal on it. Love that lady. Well, my, uh, my Goodwill hookup is not here today, but that's okay. Maybe we can still find some stuff. Oh, big old shark. <laughs> All right, what else do we got? Oh, we got this uh, jet finder that's just made out of cheap plastic. I thought maybe it was die cast for a second. We got a slingshot. We got an octopus. I'm always making things talk. It sounds like a BB-8. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Well, part of BB-8 anyway. Also a fidget spinner. What is this? Some sort of uh, Imagine X Batman playset. Look at this horse. Yeah. Nope. 
All right, guys. I think we're gonna get busted in the toy section at least. But maybe we can find some, well, maybe not even that. I was gonna say maybe we can find some VHS, but it doesn't look like they have any VHS on the shelves. And these are all books over here. Got this little MLP up here. I think that's a My Little Pony. Sometimes it, oh yeah, I think it's, that's a Hasbro. Yeah. Sometimes you don't know if they're knockoffs or not. All right. Well, guys, it's not looking good. We got a La La Loopsie hiding in the kitty scratch post. And over here, we've got a bag with some Hot Wheels. It's like a little coin purse or something. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a Hot Wheels racetrack in there. All right, well, we got busted at the Goody Wheel. Up next, thrift shitty, baby. All right, my friends. We're at the infamous Thrift City, home of the inglorious glass case. The glass case that we used to find stuff in that we have not found anything in for a really, really long time, like over a year or something like that. But hey, you know what? I bet these shelves have vintage toys just waiting for us. So let's go check it out. Let's see what we got. Look at this Joker mobile. It's kind of like a jack in the box. Let's see. Can we get it to pop out? I gotta push this button probably. No, or no, you gotta turn this. Aha! Awesome. The big piano. There's some Lincoln logs. Scrabble for juniors, and then uh, that clue. What's this one? The game of Round Valley. Oh. It's like Monopoly, but it's uh, I think Little Wranglers. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's like Monopoly, but it's different. And then we got this game of Clue. I always liked that game. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Wow, these Skylanders are still here. They've been here like a month now. Oh, look at this thing. It's kind of a neat little setup right there. Yeah, that is uh, cool. I'm not gonna be getting it just cause hockey's not my thing, but that's kind of neat. Oh, check these out. Man, if these uh, if these were like the vintage turtles, I think I'd probably get them. But these are cool, man. These are cool wall hangers. Yeah, man, that's actually, that's super dope, dude. I actually really I like this one. I like the background of this one. Kind of almost makes me want to get them. Yeah, I'll check out these old files. They want quite a bit of money for those, though. Oh, dang, 60 bucks. That one's really ornate, though. All right, gang, we got busted again. But uh, for me right now, the bus really don't matter. Of course, I'd like to score vintage toys and stuff like that or something else really epic, but I am so happy right now with those pirate ships. And the thing is, I've seen those things so many times before in the stores and I never bought them. But now that I have the Pirates of Dark Water, I'm just really happy about it. I'm like, wow, like these guys are actually going to have a sailing vessel to move around on freaking awesome all right let's go hit up old thrifty pants on mill street and see what kind of goodies they got all right gang let's do this thrift giant baby let's see what they got in here for us all right let's see what do we got it's like a bunch of junk let's see this yeah there's a 
there's no year on it. You can't really tell if it's vintage or not. This big T-Rex. Well, he's solid too. He's like made out of rubber, but he's pretty solid. Got one of these at the house. It's set up with my uh, my Kong King Kong diorama. All right, well, we got busted here too. No surprise though, this place usually is a bust. All right, up next, the Goody Wheel over off of Main Street. Probably won't finish there today, though. We'll probably hit up a couple more stores on the way home, but let's go see what they got. All right, guys, we're at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hoping we can find something in here. When we're done here, we're gonna go hit up uh, another thrift giant on the way home over in the colony, and then uh, and then Goodwill over in Frisco. We'll probably end our adventure there today. But in the meantime, let's see if we can squeeze some vintage toys out of this place. Let's see. What can we find? Oh, just a tripod. Oh, All right, guys, I'm not seeing much. Oh, there's another one of those cars. This old speaker, six by nine, three-way speaker system. These uh, Penn State Nittany Lion, like stadium seats or something. Dang, look at this thing. That is absolutely massive. Oh, look, they've cut the horns on it. The heck is that thing? It's some sort of cow. That's about all I know. $500 for that, $5.99. Dang, that is a hefty price tag. I'm sure it cost a lot to get it mounted to begin with. It's a cool Jeep. Oh, they went 90 bucks for that thing? Are you kidding me? $90, that is ridiculous. All right, guys, we got busted again. All right, let's go hit up another thrift giant. All right, gang, here we are. Old thrifty pants, thrift giant. Let's see if we can score some vintage toys out of this place. Oh, look at that thing. A reef racer. Some sort of box of toys down there. All right, let's go look at the shelves. What's this thing? Crock and roll. I got a bunch of dinos over here. It's actually kind of made out of rubber and not plastic. That's an interesting one. And we got this guy back here. And we got lots of dinos on this shelf. Oh man, is that Ryan's World kid again? What is this, a Red Ranger? Yeah. We got Captain America. Oh, he doesn't have any paint wear on his nose either. That's two today. All right, let's see if there's a Batman in here. Oh, nope. What does this do right here? I have no idea what that's from. Look at these. We got X-Men, Logan, little die cast. We got some Q-Figs. What's this right here? A launcher, custom motors launcher. Oh, it's for Hot Wheels. And a robot. And speaking of robots, we got this game over here, Robots versus Dinosaurs. And we got a Game of Thrones three-eyed raven. Oh, you know what? This actually might be a vintage. 
It says Jurassic Park on it. Oh, uh, you know what? That is cool. All right, we got to get this. Yeah, he's actually from 2000. But uh, I was looking for the little logo on the bottom of the feet initially, and I was like, oh, well, I don't think it's a Jurassic. It's just like some sort of knockoff or something like that. But like, it ended up being like a Jurassic Park figure. That, uh, that is super cool. At least I think it's, uh, it's well, I don't know, it says JP22 on it. I looked it up on Google and, or uh, on eBay, and it looks like it was made in 2000, but maybe, maybe it's uh, one of those remakes. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to get it for my friend Nash. He's the guy that gave me the, uh, the big trade on all the Mighty Max stuff. So Nash, I got a JP figure for you, buddy. All right. Well, we got a semi vintage. I guess we could call 2000 vintage toys, right? Because they're over 20 years old. 23 years old but uh yes yeah, so i picked it up for nash so i got a little box of stuff that i'm sending him i've just been uh he lives in canada so like uh, every time i find something i'm just kind of adding it to the box and then ship it all at once that way i don't have to like pay shipping every time i find something you know it's the smart way to do things all right guys let's go hit up the goodie wheel and see what kind of goodies they got all right gang this is it final destination of the day frisco goody wheel what you got for me today goody wheel what you got for me today hopefully we can finish strong let's do it all right let's see if we can find anything popping off these shelves man we saw a lot <sighs> so stuck we saw a lot of captain america today and look at that that's a third one with no paint wear that's unbelievable Wolverine, Black Panther, we got Stumpy Spider-Man, and Stumpy Hulk. Oh, nothing. I like the scope on it. Caroline had that exact kitchen playset when she was little. All right, guys, well, we got busted at the Goody Wheel, but that's okay because we still had fun and we still ended up with some really, really sweet scores. If you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. It helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.